Yeah, know what I mean? You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this, come on Bounce, 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 bounce. Hey girl Hey girl Hey girl Hey girl Hey girl It's Friday night when the club lines be out the door Watch a silly Okay, here we are coming down to the end. I are you getting hot now, man? I'm getting hot. It feels like it's about 90 something. You know, yeah. although, although this is supposed to be the jumping up of the fall equinox, I'm perspiring. So I know I'm burning up, man. But it's a good day because here we are back with hot picks, always trying to evolve and stay up with what they call left of the mean and right of the norm. Do not ask me what that means. Are you ready for this, man? And also, man, shout out to that tie, bro. I'm going to take that tie. You better hide it. But Go on I, with the bow tie just for the premiere. <laughs> right. All right. All right. You know, this subject is about what I keep saying, the evolution of where people find their entertainment. And it's the rise and the most, a rise of the most skillful and, and beautiful female Fortnite and virtual gaming players. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, Fortnite right now is the thing and within it they have a community of relationships along with inside of it the gaming and the dancing and it is more than just the game they've exploded to have it mean something else and yes true what happens when the women are attracted should they resort themselves to what I call properly attired and if you don't are there consequences so what I'm going to do is tell you about uh, a particular relationship first just to just let you know that the game itself was popular but people were more interested in how the relationship went also just a heads up for those who like teasers next week how's your fro bro how's your hairstyle yes we're gonna be doing what hairstyles will stand the test of time? They will never go out of style. And which ones will never come back again? And which ones are stuck between trending identity? And it'll be the results that I'm giving you are more from the women's point of view, not necessarily the men. Mario's in a favorite position. I can tell you my group used to be in the top five, top three. Not trending as hard. This is Mario in the early days giving you a wink, letting you know he was coming. Because his hair is growing. He says, y'all haven't seen me yet. That's funny. <laughs> y'all haven't seen me yet. Now look at me now. That's right. He used to have a term for people that you look like Mario back in the day. In the 60s and 70s, they were calling him Black Jesus. But now we have evolved. <laughs> so we're going to go on and take this down to what we call the program. What you're seeing right now, just as a teaser, is Elisa, Violet, and Faze Banks. Gaming relationships don't last. Yes. Should I be giving you something on Fortnite? Yes. But their popularity of them being a couple took precedent. <laughs> so, in the end of the day, isn't it like Hollywood? You end up going, how often do you follow the movies, but how often do you follow the players? Now, before I even get into profiling anyone else, Mario, would this constitute the normalcy for anyone in gaming? And get ready, the virtual games are coming on. In today's world, we'd be out there macking, <laughs> telling the whole story on Facebook. If we were 25, Lord, we'd be burning up the airways. Right. Yeah, you would be, right? Yes. To give you an Every idea. Every way but loose. Some of the YouTube comments, just to let you know, it said, this is honestly really sad because they were such a good couple and completely shocked because they broke up. Honestly, I thought like they were getting... <laughs> looked like they were honestly getting married damn i thought they would get married every compliment from their breakup has been proactive mario have you had proactive comments when you had to sustain a breakup yes and that's they still blew up <laughs> okay even when their mother was like how okay. many okay. baby okay. y'all can work it out no <laughs> that's right so what i'm saying is Relationships are going to be born and built within whatever you're doing. Just keep it that way. Now let's get over to the money time. Because really this is about the gamers and how they're making money. 
And I'm going to start you off with Janet X Choco Bars. In game name is X Choco Bars. Real name is Janet Rose. Country represent Canada. She's already made $28,300 off of her Battle Royale and Fortnite, letting you know her, her money time is on. She has become famous for her legend League of Legends stream on Twitch, which shares with other people who are game fanatics. The online gamer has posted her stream of games like League of Legends, Pug, Hearthstone, and uh, Stardew Valley. The Twitch star has got, gathered more than 336,000 followers. That's money time, and that's... Oh, hey, let me just tell you that. Keep that there. Let me just say this. Why are you seeing this? Now, if you popular, they say go make your own GIF. Uh huh. GIF. Uh, that's that didn't say go make your own. GIF. Make your own GIF. So she's already jumped on board. This is her going. That's my GIF. But she didn't make it. When you're really popular, they make it for you. <laughs> they make it for you. Not everybody has a GIF. All right. Let's go to the next profile. Uh, there's a young lady named Christian Kitty plays Michaela. Now, Mario. Look at those hips. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, brothers like that. All right. Here's the profile. You Kitty Plays is her in-game. You, you got to show you these hips. <laughs> her in-game name. She's out of Canada again. She's already earned $38,700. Now, remember, you guys, you may not think that's a lot of money, but I remember a lot of us would go play Pac-Man and all, and uh, Galaxy or whatever. Did you make any money? No. So don't holler. Don't Man, be I'm shaving. looking at that butter. She's been working that stuff out. Hey, let me give you some more information on her. Okay. She's competed in seven tournaments with her highest position being third place in the Fortnite Fall Skirmish Series. Club standings where she found victory alongside a slew of other gamers dubbed the Fortnites. Uh, she is uh, in Allied Sports announced the creation of with Kitty Plays, an all new live original content series hosted by popular streamer Fortnite Caster content creator and competitive esports player christian kitty plays michaela giving you an idea get your gif remember now when the gif pops up they know you're a player now that doesn't mean necessarily because everybody can go out and do their own gifs anyway it's when they make them for you so i'm just letting you know there's money in this game let's go to the next the next catherine mystique gun Mystique Gunn, American esports player and cosplayer, she's earned over $122,000. So, uh, gaming is not for the faint of heart. She won the second season of WCG Ultimate Gamer on the Sci Fi Channel and also competed in the Championship Gaming Series, which aired on DirecTV. Now, Gunn is featured in the Guinness World Records in 2016 Gamers Edition for being the highest earning female gamer. The book states Gunn has earned $122,000 since 2007, so she's been doing this for a while. However, when her earnings from the 2007-2008 seasons of the Championship Gaming Series are factored into her income, Gunn's earnings jump over $160,000. As her salary alone was a minimum of $30,000 per year during the CGS. Letting you know, should you Mario be looking towards women in gaming, not just because yes, they're be attractive. I should and I will, and they're probably going to win. Okay, here's now what we call the profile. I showed you some women that's uh, actually making money. Here's those that are coming up. We have a player called Faith. Faith is a 21 year old Canadian. Have you noticed that so far everybody I profiled is Canadian? Her channel on Twitch is 99% Fortnite related, though sometimes she also streams something like chit chats, cosplays, ASMR, Just Dance, and variety gaming, mostly shooters. She's coming up. They have not released her earnings yet. She doesn't have a GIF yet. That's okay. Just letting you know the come up. Let's go to the next. Next, simply called Valkyrie. Her real name is Rachel, and she is partnered a live streamer on Twitch who works with Esports, 100 Thieves as a content creator. She has a net worth of $450,000. Uh, she's playing. She's an American social media gamer. She is best known for her live streams on Twitch and her online appearance on Fortnite. She has earned an impressive fan base through her live streams of Bloodbone and The Walking Dead. Val Valkyrie owns a YouTube channel where she posts her gaming live stream. She is now regarded as the one of the most prominent Fortnite players in the world. 
Ah, and she is currently dating fellow Twitch streamer Sony D. <laughs> Sony D. Your girl got a a gif. That's a tight gif, man. I like that. I like that. I like that gif. It's unique, right there at the eye. Now. I'm not sure if you guys are ready for this content where I say some people overcome to overcome. There is a band young lady named Zoe Berger. Zoe is known for twerking while playing Black Ops 3. Berger is currently blowing up on YouTube thanks to a recent band from Twitch. Twitch has a rule that you can't show that much skin and it can't be over too sexual. Really? Yes. You so can't twerk. Can't, you can't twerk. You can't twerk. Tell that to Saweetie. And she had a uh, she had a bikini gaming stream. In other words, you oh, see her right, right now, right? So, okay. Is this offensive? No breastfeeding on air. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it offensive? No. Okay. So what is my point here? YouTube says yes. Now Making a this is a little bold. Now, now I'm giving some data content. Let me just put it in perspective. For those who are following this, who are in that world, they're going to say, man, that's 2016. Yes. My point is, is that we thought Twitch would be the progressive platform that will be a little bit more flexible when they're not, and YouTube is. What does that tell you? Well, I'm only saying. So here we go, Mario. Just a quick flash. Who impressed you the most? Take it to top to bottom, because we don't have to rate them. If they're making more money than you or I in gaming, they all get 10. Until we start gaming, then we can't rate them. Well, they give us the blow by blow, starting at the top. That's a le- at least that's the relationship. Uh, Phase Fa- Bank and Lisa. That's a profile of social media relationships within the gaming community. They're the couple that everybody hoped would stay together and get married. Oh, oh, ex Choco Bars. The gifs are made. She's making the income coming up, but not the highest so far. Take it to the next. Oh, Kitty Plays. And remember, these are all Canadians. Kitty Plays, basically keeping it simple, earning about 38000 k She's coming up in the world. Keep it keep it going. And let's go on over to Catherine Mystique Gunn. She has jumped up. She has made $122,000 off of this. Doesn't have a GIF made, but she probably doesn't need one. Faith is coming up. We don't have the money that's released, but she's a player. And then, of course, I did the uh, next with, here's the gamer right now, making that $450,000. That's Valkyrie. She's she's a badass. And you could tell. They put time. And, and so you guys notice, this is not last year or two years ago. This community has existed for almost a decade. It's just now getting popularized. So I'll let you know these ladies are over there. And the one who's finding her way, I just love. I just love Burger. She's going like this. Twitch don't want me. I'm over at YouTube. YouTube says, okay. Twitch now. And have we not said Twitch is a platform? Are we now running into a conservative platform that's that's basting us with something that's not necessarily true? How are you going to feel, Mario, when you do your... Not your surprised. Pa- <laughs> your pajama nights. <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm doing what I'm fixed, man. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Nah, man. I mean, you know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? right. So every club worldwide, worldwide, we gonna move y'all like this. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. It's Friday night when the club lines be out the door. Watch the